of success. Soon, peace and order will be restored throughout the galaxy. Even now, our capable forces, led by Darth Vader, are striking back at the rebel insurgents. <laughs> Signal Vice Admiral Thrawn to launch his high squadrons immediately. This rebel stronghold has no hope of escape. Commence the attack. Yes, sir. What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well on this Tuesday. Sorry for the uh, sorry for the delay of the episode. I had to work a little late this evening, and uh, well, you know how that goes. Oh, excuse me. Let's see. Let's go up here. All F four to full screen. Let's go. Center joystick. Press a button. Top left, press a button. Bottom right, press a button. Dun, enter dun, your dun, name, dun. pilot. I'll enter your name. General Q-Stick. All right. The Reniki pirates are ransoming the Thai defender scientist to us at a rendezvous point near Kilima. Kilima. We have agreed to their conditions. An unarmed shuttle I mean, I haven't agreed. The ransom for the hostage. We are permitted one starfighter escort, and you have been selected. I better you fly assault gunboat Mu One. Mu One. The transfer has been worked out in detail. At the moment it is concluded, we have a surprise plan. The interdictor cruiser Red Claw will arrive precisely 90 seconds after mission starts to trap the pirates. Your primary task will be to disable their transport, then destroy... Yep, oh, oh, alright, guess we're getting started. This crime lord, Tarak, is no ordinary pirate. She is the last leader of a nomadic warrior people known as the Nami. The Nami mm, were driven Nami. into the Outer Rim during the Clone Wars and forgotten about. Their recent capture of TIE Defender prototypes could mean a resurgence of their power. Perhaps even an attempt to regain their lost territories. Their ability to exploit the TIE Defender technology is probably minimal without the expertise to actually build more. However, they are probably aware of the Reniki ransom offer, and it is likely that they will make an attempt to capture the TIE Defender scientist. If this comes to pass, the Emperor wishes that Tarak be taken prisoner. You are to remain alert to any opportunity to capture any Nami ship she might be aboard. Let's see what we can accomplish. Shields up to power. Come on, baby. Begin 
conducting operation. Conducting operation complete. Full speed to kill him Alright, let's see if we can actually take these bastards out this time. out here. It's a little rusty here. Where'd you go? Yep, trying to be. Get my ass tore up from behind here, and I can't really do much to keep them off of me because I need to get back to the. All right, you peckerhead. know what to do to get to like what do I gotta do to position yourself behind the R41 star chasers and have a missile ready to launch at their transport as soon as the docking is completed you may then take out some R41 star chasers as well but be sure to disable the transport before you get caught up in a dogfight you should have shuttle lambda 1 tagged to memory so you can quickly determine who the nearest threat is the Reniki will respond immediately to our trap. Alright. F5 to tag that back. I'm trying to get these shields up as fast as possible. Operation. 
God, fuck! Alright. So, I guess what I need to do is maybe I just go ahead and target maybe go ahead and target the Star Chasers first. God bless it. Attack that. Shift A. That's, that's improvement. I just gotta be on top of that fucking transport. That's, that's all there is to it. Uh, 
I got it though. I, this is this is the one. I feel it. This is the one. Wasted shot. Thank you. 
I think we got past the tough part, boys. My goodness. Corellian transport. this up cycle that out turn that on and finish up these what I just well you know what did it still go complete it yeah Where are those rockets heading towards? Whew, all right. I think we're through the worst of it. I think I, I think I got it. I think, I think, I think. So what else? Must have survived. Lambo 1 must complete its mission. So. Alright. I think we're okay. Get all my shields and shit back up. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I quit out last week because I was getting frustrated with this mission. Like, I was done. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna stream and play and get angry and annoyed, you know? It's not worth it. I'm not a Michael at uh, Rooster Teeth that does rage quit videos. That's not me. Let's get that. Yeah, like I said, some of this is just... Some of these missions are a fucking slog. <laughs> Patience, grasshopper. Shuttle, let's see, Recordian. 
Shuttle Lambda-1 reporting Begin in. Entering hangar. Operation. Well, I guess I'm just going to hang here and wait. Keep charging shields just in case. Cruising along at 13%. I'll just kind of just set up for now. <laughs> Snatch the hostage from the shuttle and you shall be ready. Capture operation All right. complete. Everything back up to full. Flying home. Report in. Looking for craft aboard. I like that. We're getting there. Let's see, what are you doing? Report in. Protecting craft. Yeah, yeah, they finally caught him. Well, I mean, technically they caught him. From what I understand, she um, unalived herself after, like, that's what I was, the way I kind of understood it. They're not, uh, you know, I haven't heard anything in specific, but I'm sorry. They had a good 10-day head start. I don't, I would have Googled, like, the most, um, you know, the least most pop, uh, uh, um, popular Mexican border crossing or something like that. And we had 10 days. I mean, Alabama to Texas or Alabama to Mexico can't be more than two. So, I mean, you should have just should have bounced. I don't know what they were trying to do. Like go to Indiana, like, I mean, you know, try to cross the border into Canada and go live in, you know, British Columbia somewhere, you know, or go to Idaho where there's literally nothing. I mean, there's places, to my understanding, there's places in uh, Idaho that still fall under the Homestead Act. Like, there's still unclaimed territory in places like that. Hurry up, Shuttle Lambda 1. Well, see, that's the thing is, like, it's it, it, it seems somewhat planned because, like, she sold her house ahead of time for, like, 50% under market value to sell it. So it was like, like, she planned in some places, but then it was like, it was kind of like the, you know, the coyote catching the roadrunner. And like, okay, now what? You know? It was like she planned the escape, but nothing afterwards. Like, why were you in Indiana? What were you trying to accomplish? You know? You had 10 days. What did you do? Like, what were you doing? Yeah! Finally! You have ensured the return to the Empire of an extremely valuable asset. At the same time, you played a major role in subduing a renegade band of pirates. Congratulations. That's what this job is all about. Of mixed blessings, yeah, pretty much. the simultaneous trapping of a rival pirate gang led by the crime lord Tarax. Her forces did some heavy damage to the Red Claw, taking out the cruiser's hyperdrive. The interdictor is stranded here until a new hyperdrive can be delivered. All right, I don't need to talk to you. All right. The interdictor cruiser Red Claw was badly damaged during our last battle with the pirates. Modified Corvette Chometi will deliver replacement parts, 
and pick up the TIE Defender scientist and our pirate prisoners. You will fly a barrier patrol around the Red Claw and the Corvette while the docking operations are done. Oh yeah, his ass is going into like a supermax. You must ensure that the TIE Defender scientist is safely evacuated out Yeah, of he's the he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. will be assisted by the remaining TIE bombers and TIE interceptors from Interdictor Red Claw. Two Lorinal strike cruisers are en route to aid Red Claw. They will arrive in 30 minutes. Oh, with 30 minutes? Please don't tell me I gotta play this battle for 30 minutes. Was badly damaged during our like. Last battle with the pirates. Yeah, he's. He's gone forever. Chimete. On it. Uh, she has no cargo. And I feel like this is a setup. He just sounded like a bad guy, you know? Whoa, doggies, what do we have here? Battle alert. Enemy TIE defenders have entered the area. TIE defender Z Alpha is attacking our TIE bombers. TIE defender Z Beta is attacking Interdictor Red Claw. Nah, nobody cares about Z Delta. Come on. Where is he at? Ah, oh, crap. I didn't mean to fire two. New one. Mission critical craft under attack. Begin porting operation. Oof. I got a slog to get back to him. Thank you. 
All right, get within range here. Do I have range? Nope, no range. About to have range. Oh, got him. Finish him! I'm not even gonna waste a shot. Let y'all finish him. Come on. Come on. All right, y'all taking too long. Come on. Whoo! All right. What else you got? Chimetti has entered hyperspace. Did it do its job? Okay. Chimetti's did its job. All right. Let's get that up. That up. Let's get that back up. What? What do you mean? Notified Corvette Chimetti here. What is your status, Red Claw? Zara just hit us with a strike force of TIE defenders. The Chimetti 1 was just here. It had your exact IFF code. We've been duped! We've been duped, guys. Very well. Let's get your drive working then. Ugh, I was really hoping that was going to be all of them. Oh my god, just more and more TIE Defenders.
<laughs> yeah, it really is ominous music. Why can't I transfer shields? <laughs> I hope not. There's always a way out. Gotta find the way out. It's always a solution. Come on, dickhead. Turn around. Boarding operation complete. Ooh, he got rocked. Alright, that looks like everybody. Except a strike cruiser. I'm a little leery to advance on it, but you know what? Looks like she's turning to run anyway. Dump that. Give me some more speed. I can't get in here and help. Shields are good. Come on, if they do enough damage, I'm going to hit it with some ion cannons. That'll help. Come on, baby. Get me in closer. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Knock it down, knock it down, knock it down. Another run before I get there. Come on, give it another run before I get there. Otherwise, I'm going to switch back to lasers. Yes. Yes. Yes! She's done. She doesn't know it yet. Yes, boys. I can just come to a zero and just fucking wail on her. Come on, boys and girls. Come on, guys. Keep making runs on her. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bye bye. Get out of here. Secret mission objectives completed. Get out of here. Full speed. No Kobayashi Maru here. <laughs> Ugh. So. I downloaded, like, the next uh, Tie Tuesday, uh, or, like, the next series in Tie Tuesday, 
Um, I have X-Wing, which is the follow-up to this game. Um, written by um, Michael Stackpole, X-Wing was. So, or the storyline and whatnot was written by Michael Stackpole. Um, so I'm excited to, um, excited to get into that. And I'm also thinking about uh, my next uh, Retro Monday um, game. Um, if I can get it up and running, and I might experiment with it tonight before I go to bed after the stream, um, is uh, Rogue Squadron, formerly for the N64. Um, Rogue Squadron is one of my favorite video games of all time and um, tells a really, really awesome story of Luke Skywalker uh, post-Return of the Jedi uh, and his exploits with um, uh, Rogue Squadron and whatnot. So, yeah, whatever you need. If you need some, like, you should, you know, realistically, you know, a headset, um, we could... Um, we could do something like on Discord or something like that for, um, for for chatting if you want. Um, or like I said, once you get once you get um, uh, the flight sim up and running, if you get a if you do the um, Xbox Prime or the Microsoft Prime, whatever it is that lets you do chatting, um, so we can do flight sim together. That would be awesome. But. Um, what have I accomplished? You succeeded in seeing the scientist to safety. Unfortunately, it was on the wrong ship. We were the victims of a skillful deception that could only have been accomplished by Zarin or his henchmen. And I'm so excited to do um, flight sim and whatnot with you. That'd be so much fun. In the heat of the battle, it kept us from looking too closely at the ship that took the scientist. Your role in saving the Red Claw from destruction will probably save you from the wrath of Lord Vader. The captain of the Red Claw will not be so lucky. And see, that right there, I think, was the downfall of the Empire more than anything else. You had really talented, uh, you know, higher command, like higher up commanders and whatnot, and they make one small mistake, and Vader's like, off with his head, and like, and then you wonder why there was such, you know, low amount of talented uh, officers at at Endor. Just received an SOS from one of our cargo transfer areas. Sending There's out an SOS. Okay. Three, two. They claim okay. they are being attacked by Thai defenders flown by Tarax forces. Yeah, it, it's it's too high of a turnover. You don't you really want that. You escape of area personnel who are fleeing in a freighter. Okay. Oh, tie advanced. Okay, I'm cool with that. I like tie advanced. A rebel cruiser is also in the area. The rebels seem to be observing the attack. Okay. Just Sending out an SOS. I love it. Let's go. All right. I like flying the TIE Advance. They're like that good in-between ship to the TIE Defender, which is my favorite. TIE Defender, TIE Interceptor, TIE Advance. Those are my top three in that order. I love TIE Interceptors. We're glad to see you too, big guy. We got you. No problem, man. We got you. That's what we're here for. Oop. That guy got fucked. They fired rockets at us, Alpha One. Help us. Yeah, that's true. Ah. What? Critical 
God bless. Yeah, you probably may have to get it set up on the Asus. It might make it easier than the, um... <laughs> Apple! <laughs> Apple! <clears throat> Excuse me, man. Mm. Frog. Um, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, they don't prepare you for that. They're just like, boom, here's a bunch of rockets. I uh, hope you do the best. Get him? Ow. Huh? I guess so. Done. Uh, in touch with Alan. Maybe to help. He has flight sim on his Mac. He actually had it running on the Mac Pro before he passed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I no clue how to help you on that one. I apologize. Yeah, like that's, it's the same, it's the same issue that I have at, at, at the shop with dad. Like he loves his Apple products and he has issues. And I mean, realistically, I'm sure that it, you know, like Apple and, and PC have probably an equal amount of issues, but you know, like one's no different than the other. I mean, it's, it's no different than like Fords and Chevys, you know, but I, you know, I'm a Ford guy. I can't work on Chevys. You know what I mean? And I mean, I hate to be like that, but I mean, there's just not much I can do. I mean, let's put it like this. Uh, the last time I had an Apple product that I could use and operate to the fullest of its ability, uh, the most difficult program it could run was Oregon Trail. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah! I get help? Oh, I do get help. Whew. So I'm thinking, complete side note, um, I've got an extra webcam, and I can run two webcams at once. The com my computer will handle it. Um, I'm thinking about, for funsies, um, setting up a webcam on a tripod that will like I'm real tired of getting shot at uh, that I can um, show on the joystick so I can run like the joystick video people can see how that works and all that so they can watch me you know watch me play and watch the, the joystick because some people are really into that would you stop shooting shit at me Uh, I didn't have an Apple II, but my computer class did, and that was all I had. Let's 
Well, well, you get out of here, you fucking pussy. I'm not leaving. I got shit to do. I'm a fucking general. Do you see this? Do you see the marks on my arm? Uh, my, uh... Oh! Like, no. I am not giving up. I will not surrender. I'm probably not going to put this guy down, but you know what? If I can just keep him busy. Sure would be great if you would uh, go to hyperspace or something. Dozen workers will be buying me some fucking uh, Corellian whiskey. I can tell you. TIE advance going up against four TIE defenders. I may not have downed any, but I didn't fucking die. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, Admiral Thrawn. We got this. Make sure that Zarin does not interfere with our plans to crush the rebellion. Excellent work. You rescued the Ozepti and uncovered extremely valuable information. Tarek's forces have procured TIE defenders, or worse yet, have set up production facilities of their own for building the TIE defender. The presence of rebels as observers of the attack probably indicates that Tarak was using the assault to demonstrate the awesome power of the TIE Defender to the rebels. She probably intends to sell these spacecraft to the rebels. This must not happen. All enemy TIE Defenders must be recaptured or destroyed. Admiral Thrawn has been secretly developing a countermeasure to the TIE Defender. Report to the combat chamber to learn about this latest Imperial superweapon. Well, you're important as shit. Imperial you're gonna give me a missile boat. Located some Tie Defender class starfighters on board this strike cruiser. Okay. This arms merchant cruiser will be selling the Tie Defenders to the rebels at a nearby location. Gunboats Mu have the task of disabling the cruiser. Missile boats Tau will provide escort for them. 
After the cruiser has been disabled, Grey Wolf will arrive. To Grey Wolf, the OG Darth Vader um, flagship, the the Imperial Star Destroyer that was capturing Princess Leia in the beginning of um, A New Hope. That was the Star Destroyer Grey Wolf, released in the OG timeline. This craft will scoot. I love this one. The missile boat is my favorite. Well, one of my favorites. do with the transports uh, actually this what do you want me to do with the transports uh. the transports are laying mines stop them if you can on my way on it Well, I'm doing the best I can there, big guy. Ooh. 
<laughs> they destroyed their own ship. Get fucked. Come on, get me in range. Hit me. <sighs> My goodness. my goals here. What if I just like unload all of my fucking torpedoes into her? What happens? Yeah, no shit. Hopefully, hopefully it blows up. Like, tired of this shit. Like, your shit's got to go. Ah. 
22%. This is probably not going to end well, but we're going to try it. very least maybe I can like run her off her shields are down I don't know if nine torpedoes will do it or missiles I'm not hopeful but we're going to try. Not good. Yeah, I'm going to say. Get away long enough to maybe build up some... Not enough. Like, how much longer do I gotta fight these guys? You know? It's like... All right, let's put some distance between me and that dry cruiser. Let's get out to like three clicks and we'll be okay. Now you fuckers are done. Come on, baby. I don't understand. I feel like something... Something's not right. I'm 
must be boarded, but by what? I don't have anything to board it with. Something's not right. Something... I'm gonna restart. Some, something's not right. Don't spare the missiles. You should have more than enough. Use them like unguided rockets at very close range. And don't wait for a complete red lock. <laughs> On your first pass, try to take out four T-Wings from the first wave of six that are headed toward you, using single missile fire. Then go after the transports laying mines, using dual missiles. Finish off all the T-Wings that are launched, then destroy any mines left. No, I, my ship couldn't. My sh ship can't board it. Like, I feel like I'm missing something. There was something that... I think it was the gunboats that were destroyed because they have ion cannons. And I think it was them that was the problem. That I didn't have... Because I'm not fucking with that carrot class cruiser. Come on. Yeah, that, that Carrot Kleist cruiser that's up in the top left there that you can see on the screen, you don't fuck with them because they are specifically designed to take out uh, fighter and escorts. God bless. Come on. You were supposed to protect the gunboats. See, I wonder if that's a key that it's like there's nothing else you can do here. Even though it doesn't like specifically say that. I've, on the other hand, I feel like it would tell you that, you know? You're like, okay, you can't do this by yourself.
Like, I can't destroy these things any faster, you know? See, when you use like an unguided missile, like it doesn't work like that. They're going to shoot it. Done? Where are you at? Come on. Mint lock. Give me that sweet lock. Shouldn't have fired that one right there. Ooh, bye bye. Thanks for playing, though. All right, man. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful night. Tell the puppies I said hello.
<laughs> Give Charlie a big old wet sloppy kiss. <sighs> Getting real tired of shooting these fuckers. Straight back up, straight back up, straight back up. Bye bye. Oh, fourth shot. Straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. Bye bye. Woo! That bitch ran. Alright, cool. I don't know what that is, but that needs to go. Ugh. Well, I know. Four, six, eight, ten. We're going to chill there, finish up everything up, and wait. Get her down to his no shields and see what happens. All right, her shields are down. What are you going to do about it? There's nothing else. Am I going to have to sit here? I, like, I really hope I don't have to sit here. 
Like, I got everything good. Like, go ahead and send them in. Like, I'm doing, I've done my job. gonna do like did I finish everything early and I just have to kind of like wait it out because I mean I know that's like a thing but or it can be a thing but you know I guess while we wait uh, while we wait we'll look at some headlines see what's going on let's see wins Nebraska's GOP gubernatorial primary, defeating a Trump-endorsed candidate. That is that. Trump, back, Trump backed Alex Mooney wins the GOP congressional primary in West, by God, Virginia's second district. Uh, skipping meals and racking up debt, single parents say they're running out of places to cut costs as prices keep marching higher. That's not necessarily wrong in that. Judge finds celebrity chef Mario Batali not guilty of criminal indecent, assu indecent assault. Is there ever a decent, like, assault? Indecent assault and battery stemming from a 2017 incident in Boston. I definitely want to know if there's ever a decent insult or assault. Like, I need, I need to know that that's a thing. Like, please tell me that's a thing. I need to know. I am going to hang out here until the game clock says 20 minutes, and then we'll see what happens after that. <clears throat> I mean, do I need to inspect it? When we get within three clicks, I'm going to drop the lasers, and um, that'll boost my speed. So we're going to try inspecting it. She's been inspected with no cargo, so we're going to cruise back out to five clicks. One and a half. Two. Three clicks. I can probably turn around here. She's not going to fire at me anymore. Well, what are we doing? We got 20 minutes. Do we sit for 25? Like, what am I missing? Mm, 
let's see. Nothing else seems to be interesting going on in the world. Uh, we'll drop down here. We'll pull up my news app. While we wait, let's see. Hundreds. Whoop, uh, House approves a $40 billion aid uh, to Ukraine. Hundreds injured and in, uh, trapped in the battered Mariupol steel plant in Ukraine. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Any other fun stuff? Casey White reveals, which is the escaped Alabama inmate. Um, what's oh, oh, reveals what he did while they were on the run for eleven days. Let's see. The pair initially drove a hundred miles north to Tennessee, where they dump dumped Ricky's uh, Vicky's. Wow, I really can't read. That's terrible. Rust uh, colored Ford Edge and transferred into a black Ford pickup truck and headed further north. The truck was spotted on May 3rd, four days after they escaped, abandoned at a car wash another 200 miles north of Evansville. Surveillance video was from the car wash showed Casey White hopping into a gray Cadillac, uh, which a sharp-eyed cop then spotted parked outside Evansville Motel on 41 on Monday. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Let's see. While the coroner will have to confirm that she died by suicide, Vicky was found with a gun in her hand. She was also on the phone with 911 mid-chase, saying she had a gun to her head. Vandenberg County Sheriff's Dave Wedding told CNN. Still waiting to get to the next, uh, maybe the Grey Wolf shows up at 25 minutes. A wedding uh, whose county includes Evansville seemed incredulous uh, that fugitives decided to camp out in a small city of 11 or 110,000 located along the Ohio River. After six days, it was just hard to believe they were here. I wouldn't think that somebody on the run would stay in a community like Evansville for six days. So they stayed in the area for six days before they fled. Like, not sure what they were trying to accomplish. Uh, they'd driven long enough that they wanted to stop for a while, get their bearings straight, and then figure out the next place to travel. How do you? What do you need to get your your bearings straight? Like what? Like I don't get it. Like you don't need to get your bearings straight. You know this is the 21st century. Like pack your shit and get the frick out of Dodge. Like. There shouldn't be a need to get your bearings straight. And we're going to give this another minute, and then we're probably going to call it a night for the game. Uh, and I'll have to do some reading up on what I need to do to accomplish this, because I've done all my parts, and I shouldn't have to be sitting here. I mean... the the Yeah... Assault Transport Sigma must have completed mission, must be boarded. Grey Wolf must have survived. The Grey Wolf isn't here. Um, let's see what happens. I'll do... Strike Cruiser N U A N C E must be boarded. Thank you. 
up a little bit. Kingdom. Yeah, it looks like that needs to be... I have to keep something else alive before the uh, nuance is... Or the... Yeah, the nuance is destroyed, so... Anyway, I think, anyway, it's a little late for me, so it's probably a good place to stop anyway. Uh, alt enemy. There we go. Oh, what's she doing? Looks like she's turning. Let's eh, let's give her these last couple of uh, torpedo or missiles and see what she does. Nothing. Yeah. All right. Well, mm. I mean, I'm not quite sure what she's going to do here. Ah, now she's firing on me. Is she dropping spike mines? Is that what she's doing? Wait a minute here. Let's let's see something here, boys and girls. What is she up to? sure what she's up to here maybe there is still hope left for this mission we'll go to 30 minutes and see what happens I mean I get the impression she's like up to something the hell is that another spike mine what is she doing and she's turning She's not shooting at me. I am at a complete and total loss. Like, what the hell is this bitch doing? Any, uh... Ooh, she dropped another one. gonna be programmed to do this what the hell is she doing she's 
Gotta be up to something. What is she up to? What is she up to? She dropped another one. I mean, I'll keep killing them as she drops them. But I'm not quite sure what she's trying to accomplish here. Is she going to run? Are we going to get the gray wolf? Like, what's going to trigger? Ooh, yeah, you know what? I think this is a next week issue. Hope everybody had a great time. I think I'm going to call it a night. So we're going to quit out. What do you say? Don't spare the missiles. Yeah, don't spare them. Yeah, yeah. Enough. Gotcha. Use them like unguided rockets at very close range, and don't wait for mm. a complete red lock. Anyway. All right, guys, I really, really appreciate you guys hanging out. You guys are amazing. We're going to just go ahead and just drop that. There we go. Come back over here. Thank you guys for hanging out. As always, uh, you guys are appreciated. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week. I will be back on tomorrow for Worship Wednesday. And then Thursday for Real Mystery Stream for our Curse of Strahd. And then Friday and Saturday, Sunday is always up in the air with stuff going on. So, peace. Love you guys. Have a great night.